Oh shoot, it's gonna be dark. I gotta get out in the hobo soon. Oh wait, I have a video to make. Hello folks, welcome back. For I'm the one, the only, I am a hobo Tom and I'm still adjusting stuff from last night's show. I hope to have that show fully processed and all the bad stuff out of it. Hopefully by tonight. Hopefully by like now for sure. Other than that though, um, there's only one more show I have to catch up with. Is pretty good. That's the no, don't fall, fall. There we go. Ah, somewhat better. I'll oh, organize that desk. Oh, there we go. That's good. So yeah, um, I still have to put together my Monday Night Raw show that I went to. Again, I didn't want to get copyright songs until afterwards. Um, I'm semi getting fed up with WWE and all the major wrestling promotions saying I can't post their stuff. We'll see how things go. If I'm just going to do reviews or some really limited live streaming. I have no idea yet. It's not the way it used to be three years ago. But then again, it wasn't like the way it was seven years ago when YouTube was the Wild West. But other than that, let's get to the show. Oh, wait. I do have one thank you I do have to give out. Seer. I'm... I almost forgot about this one. I'm not doing good today. Well, actually, I'm doing really good today because I didn't have to work today. That's a whole other issue. Ronald Brown! I don't even know if that comment you made is legal, but you know what? Just for you making, just for you saying something or putting a comment down, you know what, sir? You are carrying that briefcase boombox. Now let's see here. With that being said, still processing. Whoa. Oh, wait. That takes like forever. The one's done. Already. Oh, well. We'll see. Hopefully it gets up in a couple days or so. But, yep, so let's talk about some SmackDown Wrestling. Um, I guess this is going to be a thing. Again, this is from August 6th. So Edge comes out, does a promo. Wait, that's just, oh no, Cena did it this time. So <laughs> they're altering one week Cena, one week Edge. Okay, I can take that, I guess. Um, so Edge does a promo. Seth comes on some hideous butterfly suit. Um, yeah, that is what it was. Then Bell did an interview. Then the first match. Oh, this was a first match? Wait a second. Is this the first match? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, that's why. Shoot. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I had to, like, go through this a little bit. So, yeah. So, the start of the show, Sasha Banks actually does a promo. I'll just leave that there. It's just been one of those weeks. Friday the 13th came and went, so I blame it on that. Um, yeah, Sasha Banks had a promo, Bianca Bella shows up, whatever. Uh, so now our first match, it's, the, I thought something was screwy. Uh, Dominic Mysterio taking on Jay Uso. Dominic's so good. I honestly still can't believe he's so good for being so young. Granted, he has his father, Rey Mysterio, probably his Chavo Guerrero, Hector Guerrero, uh, probably Chavo Sr., I wouldn't doubt if they have, like, the son of El Santo helping him. I mean, definitely Mil Mascaris is probably there doing something because he probably doesn't like his own nephew. But his own legal issues. Again, that's an interesting point. I wonder if they're in trial in Mexico. If he ever got called to the stand, I wonder if Mil Mascaris will actually wear his mask. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Well, hopefully we won't see. That would be bad. But yeah. Um, so Dominic, again, is so good, so young. I'll tell you what, he can do all the flippy stuff. He can do everything. Jay, this time, much more of the bruisers, the bruiser style. Again, he has a big slam. 
And that right upper when he goes down, kind of nails the guy. Open shot to the neck. Very classic Jimmy Snooker-like. So, very Samoan-like, period. That's so good. Now Dominic makes a comeback. However, he can't hit the he can't hit the one drop. Um, Jay hit that pop up neck breaker. That's good. Dominic counters that with his own neck breaker. I like the fact that they actually do things back and forth a little bit. Fun stuff going on in the ring. However, with a super kick to end it and a splash by Jay Uso, flying off the top rope like a true Simone would. Jay Uso wins. Solid match. You know what? Cheeseburger match. Then we had Shinsuke Nakamura versus Apollo Crews. And this is this was a shock. This was... I was absolutely floored by this. Shinsuke Nakamura, this was kind of a little screwy finish. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, so good in the strong style. They need to put that belt back in. Spoiler alert, they did. <laughs> uh, again, Cruz. Again, very grapple-like. Um, Drop Shinsuke on the ring, the slam. That was fun stuff. Uh, Shinsuke hits those knees in the corner. And Nakamura hits a kick, but then Sergeant Aziz. I refuse to call him Commander Aziz until he gets at least two bars on his neck. And not... The sergeant chevrons. They have to know good military order. So sergeant Aziz interferes. Eh. Shinsuke Nakamura wins. It was a dusty finish. That's a ham sandwich of a match. Let's see here. Um, then we had. Uh, Nia Jax versus Tamina. Uh, Tamina's too strong. This was actually an amazing match. Again, does the kicks with the legs. Nia Jax comes back to the clothesline. I don't know what happened. I think this was the match. Like, Tamina, um, Tamina threw something way too close, and Nia Jax got busted open. It's called Karma. Remember that time you broke Becky's face? Yeah. This was a pretty stiff match. Um, then Shotzi Blackheart and Tegan Knox showed up. Shotzi fired her tank. That was a distraction. It's, it's a roll up. I'm like, what? But she's bleeding. This is a mess. They saw the blood. They said, Shotzi, get out there, distract with a tank. It was an okay match. I do, uh, to see these two in a feud would be great. But right now, it's a ham sandwich match. Lena Vega comes out, does some talking. Yeah, that's what I care about that. Edge, Edge then comes out, does a promo with Seth Rollins, this hideous butterfly suit. Uh, Finn Balor does an interview. Then we have the Street Profits versus the Rude Dogs. Uh, Ford has a... Oh, Montez Ford has ups. He must have freaking huge, powerful quads, glutes, and leg muscles because he gets some major ups. And it's not just major ups, it's up there ups. He's a great looking dropkick. Robert Rude, again, more of the traditional grappler. Has a big slam. A Dawkins gets the hot tag. Starts with a spinning neck breaker. Whoa. A Dolph eventually shoots the half for the pin. That's always great to hear. Again, the half Nelson. Very classic collegiate wrestling move. Again, Dolph Ziggler has that collegiate background. I like that. Then you have the Famouser, and everyone kicks out of the Famouser nowadays. Finishers mean absolutely nothing in modern wrestling, which kind of sucks. At least in AAA, like, if you get hit with a pile driver or any kind of driver, it's like, dude, that's it. I think sometimes they're legit. I think sometimes the guy's too scared to kick out of it, too. Out of fear, it's like, this guy just hit a driver on me. If I kick out of this, what's he? what else is he going to do to me? That's not a pleasant thing. Uh, where was I? Yeah. Um, Dawkins then hits the pop-up powerbomb. Ford hits that 
Huge, amazing flying splash. Street Profits win. You got another solid match. Cheeseburger match. Uh, Bianca Bel Then the next match we have Bianca Belair taking on Zelina Vega. Bianca. I'll tell you what, she's tall as anything, especially compared to Zelina Vega. She's just way too strong for Zelina Vega to handle. Vega, she tried to roll up in the ropes to get as much leverage as she could. But she, she's, Selena Vegas is tiny looking. Um, then it was, uh, again, Bianca's too strong, just kind of like tosses Vega around. Sasha Banks shows up. Yeah, this is a distraction. This is one's Lena Vega. It's a Huracurana because of the distraction. Again, she does a straight jacket choke. Eh, okay. Uh, Bianca then, again, too strong. She just powers out of everything. And with Zelina Vega, that actually does make sense. Uh, Vega went for the Black Widow, got, but got countered to like a package suplex. That was great looking. Vega then got whooped. Again, pick her up. Whap! Whap into the barricade, which is a real barricade, by the way. Then Bianca Belair hits the kiss of death. Bianca Bel Belair wins. Yeah, I'll give it a cheeseburger rating. Solid match. Roman Reigns then does an interview. I'll tell you what. The, the, oh, Roman Reigns is... John Cena, when they're unscripted, they're so much better. Then we have... Finn Balor, The real rock and roller. Thing on... Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin. Just to take out his frustrations on Finn for a little bit. Again, Finn's noticeably smaller than Baron Corbin. Finn Howard is a ground and pound. He gets sick of it. He begins to take off. Um, and this was actually a really quick match. And because um, it was in the corner missile drop kick, the coup de gras. That was it. Finn Balor wins. Solid match. It kind of progresses the whole Baron Corbin stuff. I'll say it's a cheeseburger match. Then the Russo, uh, uh, not the Russo, uh, Roman Reigns comes out, beats up Finn a little bit. Again, Baron Corbin does a gunpoint, except he doesn't put the guns out. You just should just be prince of it. Put the guns out. As always, there we go. I'm straight. Bang, bang. So he's just like, you. Bang, 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 bang. Um, does a gunpoint. That was cool. The Usos jump Finn. Uh, Balor fights back a little bit. Again, more gun points. That'll, that'll be a fun match. So that'll be, not SummerSlam, probably the Royal Rumble. I can see that. And again, that was a f SmackDown's fun. I can never complain that much about SmackDown. So, let's see here. A little news and notes about what's going to happen as my video freezes because I move too quickly. Later tonight, I'm going to start the whole editing process for Monday Night Raw. I play most because I have to work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, shoot, that's right. Um, Monday, it's going to be a review of Monday Night Raw. Tuesday, I'm skipping NXT. I don't know, AEW, I'm either going to do a review for... It all depends, I don't know, AEW is weird. I just might live stream it. Just so, you can, just so I can get it done with and over with. Wake up the next day. Thursday, I can't do anything because Thursday is my long day. Yeah, Thursday, I should live stream. Because Thursday is my long day. I have to be at work 10 to 8.30. Friday, I open. So I'll do probably a live stream. I don't know. AEW Rampage really didn't excite me that much. I have to work the next day. So I'll probably just do a live stream of... Smackdown. I'm not even Smack. Impact has like something. I don't know. 
I'll figure out something for for Friday. Probably SmackDown. Friday Night Impact. Yeah, there's there's way too much wrestling. Um, Saturday, I'm gonna see if I can get in most of the most of SummerSlam. Let's see what format I want to use. I don't know if I'm just gonna do a flat out review or do a live stream kind of watch. It's not gonna be a watch party like my AAA uh, video. Eventually, my AAA video is gonna go up for Triple Mania. Also, I'm gonna make a predictions video sometime this week. Maybe Thursday, I'll do that. For both SummerSlam and the NXT um, in your house, it's gonna be the next week, probably when Samoa Joe wins that. So that's, that'll be Sunday. Then I get back to a normal week. I'll be good to have a normal week. Yeah, and other than that, I'd like to thank Evan for watching. I do apologize for me trying to get through all the content. Um, I've just been busy, folks. And then also next week, or in like two or three weeks, I'll put like more race coverage up. Because the races are coming back to town, and Hobo Tom gets to work them. So that's always good. Then I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone later. Bye. Well, I can finally cross this off my list. Yay.